Hi there. Now for this question, we were given that cosine x equaled 1 plus or minus the root of 1 plus 16k, all divided by 8, and asked to solve this equation when k equaled 3 for angles of x greater than or equal to 0 degrees but less than 360 degrees. And as you can see, there's three solutions. One of them is exactly 0 degrees and the other two to the nearest degree are 139 degrees and 221 degrees. Now I'll take you through the method that I used just in case there were any problems and you can see that when we substitute k equals 3 into this equation we end up with cosine x equaling 1 or minus 3 quarters. Now when cosine x equals 1 this is a very standard result if we take the inverse cosine of 1 in degrees mode you'll get 0 degrees but you should really be familiar with it from look, just looking at the sketch graph I've drawn here you can see that when x equals 0 you get 1. You also get 1 when x is 360 degrees, but do remember x has to be less than 360 degrees for this question. So just one value, one solution, x equals 0 degrees. Now when cosine x equals minus 3 quarters, well this is not an exact value. So what I've done to get x is take the inverse cosine of minus 3 quarters. I've also drawn a quadrant diagram. So I'm assuming you're familiar with quadrant diagrams. If not, do check them out on my website. So in the usual way, we would draw the quadrants and then we're looking for cosine of the angle to be a negative value. And that occurs in the second and third quadrants. So in the usual way, draw two lines. They're drawn in blue here equally inclined to the horizontal, marking that these two angles are exactly the same. And then draw the angles for x in starting at 0, we turn in an anti-clockwise sense to the first line, that's marked as the red x, start again from 0 here, turn in an anti-clockwise sense to the next blue line, and that's marked with the green x. And these are going to be the two solutions that we would have. Now, when you take the inverse cosine then of minus 3 quarters, providing you're in degrees mode, you will get 138.59 and so on degrees. So that's this red angle x here. That leaves us with this little blue angle in here. If we take 138.59 away from 180 degrees, it will give us 41.41 degrees, okay? And we can pick up on that to give us the green angle here because it's going to be 180 degrees for half a turn plus a further 41.41 degrees. And that gives us the 221.40 degrees and so on, okay? Now, if we just round these two answers, we then get 139 degrees and 221 degrees when they're given both to the nearest degree. So hope that's given you some idea then, if there were any problems, how to do that. Okay?